So you've been teaching on OutSchool for a while, maybe part-time, but you really wanna figure out how to make this a full-time gig. Maybe you wanna leave the classroom. And yes, it is possible, I promise. Today, we're gonna to talk about how to make more money teaching online and how to scale from part-time to full-time on OutSchool. I'm gonna share some of my tips about some higher level topics, such as your class suite, funneling, diversifying your income, and scheduling strategically. Make sure to stay until the end because I'll talk about what I truly think is the key factor that will really help you scale to full-time on OutSchool. Ready? Let's go. My name is Katie Geddes and I am a former classroom teacher and a full-time online music studio owner and teacher coach. Make sure to hit subscribe so you don't miss any of my future videos. Okay, so the first step to truly making more money teaching online and how to scale from part-time to full-time on OutSchool is by creating a sustainable class suite. This is just a fancy way of saying that you can't teach tons and tons of classes on the OutSchool platform and that be sustainable. The best way to really build up your income is to focus on those classes that are really doing the best from the ones that you've put out there. So maybe they have the most saves, the most enrollments and start really focusing on those classes, adding value so maybe making them more interactive, more engaging, adding class materials. Maybe they get a workbook or they get handouts that go along with the class. Maybe they get play along videos or just supplemental materials that can help them through all the concepts that you cover in class. But really being able to provide a more valuable experience to the students. That way you can actually start to increase the price of that class too, since you are providing a more valuable experience. This also means that you might need to let go of some students that are outside of your niche or some classes that are outside of your niche. And that might be really hard, especially if it's in a one-on-one -on -one setting, like in a tutoring setting, but really being able to have all of your tutoring students or all of your classes in general really be in the same niche is so beneficial to you because it can really lower your planning time. It can sometimes be really helpful to, even though it's kind of sad to let go of those students, but to be able to find other students that are in the same niche and learning the same things as your other tutoring students so that you can recycle the material that you use with all of those students. That's going to be much more sustainable and give you back a lot more of your time. Truly with me and my income when I was an independent teacher on the OutSchool platform before I became an organization, 80% of my income came from two classes, my beginning guitar semester long class and my private lessons. So it really is possible to scale to a full-time income if you have really, really valuable classes. Speaking of income, if you wanna learn more about how much I was able to make in my first year of teaching full-time on OutSchool, I have a video where I actually break that down month to month. So definitely check that one out after this video. Okay, the second thing that I wanna talk about with how to make more money when teaching online and how to scale from part-time to full-time on OutSchool is by creating a funneling system. This of course just means to make a clear path for your students to follow when they are taking your classes. So we're focusing more on re-enrollment rate here, right? Students who are gonna just continue and continue on with you week to week. This way you don't have to go out looking for new students every single week and you really have an income and a student base that you can depend on and you can rely on. Basically after their first class with you, they always need somewhere to go after. But of course, as you start to really scale to full time, you're going to have to really build up that funneling system and have more classes that your students can take over time. For example, we have a beginning semester long guitar class, then we have an intermediate semester long guitar class, then we have upper intermediate, like six different levels for those students that have been with us for over a year now. But of course, you can create this as time goes on. You just really have to focus on that re-enrollment rate and retaining those students in order to do this. I actually have an entire video all about funneling, how to set up your own funnel, an example of mine. So definitely check that video out after this one. Okay, so the next focus I would say for making more money as an online teacher and how to scale from part-time to full-time on OutSchool is by diversifying your income. So what I mean by this is to focus on more long-term classes. So that would be ongoing classes and semester-long classes. Ongoing specifically is so, so dependable because it goes week to week and you get paid every single week as well. So those recurring students and the recurring enrollments, they can bring in that recurring income so you know how much money you can depend on. Semester long classes, of course they're multi-day so you get paid for all of that upfront, but this can be really nice because it gives you a peak of income every time that you start a new round of your semester long classes. So ongoing can be that base income and that base salary that you have. Your semester long classes will just bring in that extra income every couple of months. One-time classes can be really fun and they 
they can bring in a lot of learners. And I do know a lot of teachers on at school who do teach full time and they do mostly one time classes. But I just find that to be so much more stressful because you really have to go out and find those students every time. You don't know how much you're going to make each week or how many enrollments you're going to get each week. These can, of course, kind of serve as a lead magnet and bring new students into your learning community. So then once they've taken that one time class, you can funnel them into something more long term. But really focusing on those ongoing and semester long is going to be the most sustainable for you and your business. I actually talk more about how I diversified my income in my video where I talk about how I was able to hit 100K on OutSchool. So definitely check that video out after this one. The next thing that I would recommend for someone who wants to make more money teaching online or scale from part-time to full-time on OutSchool is to schedule strategically. First of all, scheduling as far in advance as possible. I know that OutSchool does the two-week rule where they say schedule at least two weeks in advance, but I recommend scheduling even more in advance if possible, especially for semester-long classes. For my semester-longs, I usually schedule a month or even two months in advance sometimes because those can be higher priced too. So it takes a little bit longer to really gain enough enrollments for us to fully book that class. Another random tip that I have is if you do one-on-one -on -one tutoring or private lessons, something that you could try out is trying to do your tutoring or private lessons in the morning and then try to save that afternoon time and evening time for your group classes. And that's because you want to make the most of your morning time hours, but it's harder to fill a group class in the mornings because of course students are at school. But there are of course homeschooling students who are looking for that one-on-one -on -one experience. So try Trying to gain some of those in the morning time can make the most of your schedule. So then you do have more time also for those group classes in the afternoon. I also just tend to feel exhausted in the afternoon. So I try to teach as little as possible in those evening hours because I know for me, it's not sustainable for me to teach four hours every afternoon. I'd rather spread it out and do some in the morning as well. Scheduling is one of the most stressful things about being an out school teacher. And I actually broke down exactly how I go about scheduling my classes in this video here about how I create my schedule as an online teacher. Definitely check that video out after this one to learn more. Finally, the most important thing, in my opinion, in order to make more as an online teacher and to scale from part-time to full-time as an out school teacher is assessing your mindset. Really, truly think about, are you treating this like a real business? If this was your full-time job, your full-time business, how would you act? Would you act differently? Ask yourself, do you have any sort of limiting beliefs around out school? Do you really truly believe that you can do this full-time? Or do you believe, you know, those full-time teachers, they're just one in a million. I'm never going to be able to scale that far. Are you feeling any sort of imposter syndrome where you think I don't have the chops to do this? I'm not actually qualified to do this. We can actually keep ourselves from success if we believe subconsciously that those things aren't available to us, that we can't make that leap to a full-time income on out school. Something that I would stress to you is just sitting down and really, really truly thinking about this, doing some journaling, writing out some affirmations and reading them to yourself every day. I know that this stuff sounds a little bit woo woo, but it's truly the base of having a successful business. Mindset is actually a key thing that I love to work through with my clients, especially in my new program, the Online Teacher Accelerator, which doors are open for right Right now, if you want to approach your out school business in a strategic way that's truly going to accelerate your online teaching business, then definitely check out the links in the description box below. And I would love to work with you in the program. All right, so hopefully these tips were helpful for you in your plans to try to scale to full-time on the OutSchool platform. If this video was helpful for you, then make sure to give it a thumbs up and hit the subscription button below. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.